Go get them too. After all, I pay you. Welcome to Lab Forge. This time we're gonna make a sword. Okay. No so ink. First... Well, hey Dennis. Hi Martin. So, well, what are you doing with that gun? We are not making another freaking sword. We are going to make a post-apocalypse weapon. But I don't like post-apocalypse. <laughs> Could you please lower that? We are making a post-apocalypse weapon. Okay, okay, but what, what weapon do we want to make? Oh, I'm glad you asked. Today, we are going to make the Fallout Nuka Break sign. Well, okay, but could we please lose the gun? Yeah, sure. Well, today we are going to make a uh, post apocalypse weapon, but a very special weapon, because we are going to make a weapon from the Fallout series. More specifically, the Fallout Nuka Break sign from the web series Fallout Nuka Break. Made by Wayside Creations. Wait, which you haven't seen, you should totally check that out, and our link box will pop up with a link to that underneath. So, let's get started. The first thing you'll need is some different foams. I have here some foam from an old sleeping pad, some foam uh, from pipe insulation, some foam from an old bed. Then you'll need lots and lots of paint and some brushes for this, uh, some glue, some more paint, some double-sided tape, a little but yet pointy knife, an even bigger knife, some more brushes for latex, some more brushes, uh, some latex, a canister for the latex, a cutting mat, and a pipe, a PVC pipe. The first thing you need is a template for the main part of the sign. I already made mine. Then you have to trace it onto your bed pad and onto the foam of your uh, sleeping mattress. You need to have four sheets of uh, your bed pad and uh, one sheet of foam here. Then we're going to have the pipe. So you need to take your uh, pipe, which is going to be our handle, put it up against the foam. So it's roughly in the middle, but you need to have some spaces uh, from the top and down here. Then take your sharp knife and just roughly uh, mark it out and then you have to cut it out and remember to use your cutting pad now you have cut out your foam then you need to glue uh, some glue and we're, we're going to use contact cement Start gluing the pieces here together. Now we are going to put this on, and uh, I would do this with the, the double sided tape so because it will make this process a bit more easy. Now we are going to take some more of the sleeping pad uh, and we are going to cover the edges around it with the sleeping pad. Uh, with the, sleeping pad. Uh, the reason we have to do this is because uh, the 
mattress foam in here. When we put latex on it, it's gonna suck a lot of latex to it. And then it will get a really hard edge to it. So we are putting this uh, on the outside uh, and we're going to glue it. And Martin, he's going to do that while I cut out the, the strip. So now we need to do the rod, the shaft. And for that, we are going to use this. Some pipe isolation. It will make the handle very thick. It really doesn't matter, it will make it a lot safer. And it is the easiest solution by far. So what's missing? Details. Details. And leathers. What, do you want to write on it? Uh, yeah. I'm going to use um, this foam here. <coughs> and then I'm going to cut out first a roughly shape to make the edges of the sign. So I'm just going to take my knife. It will go on to here to make the depths of sand and out of the scrap we'll make the leathers and glue them on too. Okay, so here we have a frame and then we're gonna make the leathers from this, this yes. inside part. So if you take some uh, double-sided tape and put this on, I will try to be making the leathers. Okay, now we have made the leathers and uh, we cut them out uh, of the access foam from uh, from here and we have just glued them up on with some contact cement. Now this is uh, going to dry a little more and then we're going to put on uh, the first coat of latex which would be black paint mixed with latex and it needs to get a coat all over. Martin it's got the first coat of latex it's dry now and uh, what do you think? It's kind of black. Yeah, that's because it hasn't been painted yet. It needs uh, it's real coloring now. So uh, now we have to get the brushes out. Oh, can I paint? Yeah, I think we have a special job for you. What kind of a special job? Well, when the paint is drying, we need something to go and blow on it until it's dry. And uh, you have better lungs than me. And Martin? Okay, now we have to start coloring. Also, a thing before we really start painting, put your paint on paper, not in a bowl, but on paper, because uh, then you can more easily uh, regulate how thick your coat is and you have an easier way to see what kind of color, because if you put a thick layer, it will not act as the not be the same color, a bit stronger color and a bit weaker color in thin strokes. Now it's time for the letters and this edge, it will go be painted white and then the red should spring out a bit more. I have uh, painted the inside of the sign and the letters and it stands real out. Now you can really read what's, uh, what the words say. The Nuka break. Um, the reason for painting black uh, or the base color, make the base color black or grey, but in this case especially black, is because now I have to dry brush um, the colors on. And for that, you need a dry brush and you need a light coat to put on and just give them this um, fast strokes because then we have this metal uh, color on it. 
another reason to use the paper is to not make it as thick as a, a layer when you put it on. Because here it actually is a bit too thick. So it's just to give it a more metallic look. And when I have done that all over, we have to start aging it. And I have some copper paint I will use as rust. And I will basically use the same technique. So, not too much paint on your brush. And some fast stroke. Another thing I could do, if I wanted to, is take a finger, apply a little on it and start just rubbing it out on the surface. So, um, this is the paint job for the sign. Uh, what would have been done a bit better if my metallic color has been a bit darker uh, uh, or more enhanced because then it will really have stood out against the black paint. But all in all, I think this looks rather well. Uh, I used some brown paint uh, against the copper paint to really get the rust effect out of it. So now all I need to do is to give it uh, some coatings of clear latex or oh, what I mean there is latex without any color put that on and let it dry and it will get transparent again and the color will start to show <coughs> I'm gonna give it there uh, about five or six coats yeah ah, I finally finished the sign uh, gave uh, the last coat of uh, latex uh, six coats and uh, Put on some telephone to make sure the latex is not sticky. That's why it's a bit dim in the coloring, a bit white on the red and so on. But don't worry, it will go off in time when it gets used. And there's only one way to use a weapon. Martin! This is what I've been making while I've been away. Potatoes? It's not potatoes, it's a hand grenade. Or a lot of hand grenades actually. Is this the sign? Yeah, yeah, isn't it awesome? That's pretty neat. I was just about to test it. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. By the way, um... Could you hold this for three seconds? What? See you next time! We can't keep running forever. What's in this bag, actually? You had freaking hand grenades the whole time? We have hand grenades. You have freaking hand grenades! Why do you have hand grenades? Shut up! Any more grenades? There's nothing in here. What? It's alright. He needs a break now. A break. Come on. Come on. Now about that box. What? Oh, the could you just let that box be for a second? You just look at it. It's magnificent. This world is freaking amazing. It's it's like video game. You can kill people. Could you just calm down for a second? They're actually real people. Real people. It's box. You. You, you've been troublesome boys, and you messed up 
my worlds. Really important things to deal with these worlds. Now you ruin them. You, you, them. you have to well, deal with it. You did everything. You've been here before. Have. Hey! You have to deal with responsibility. What, 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 what is now is time. I don't care. You have to deal with me. No, that's, 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 that's,